This is TK Miller from Roanoke, Virginia. I'm going to describe a medial meniscus repair with a tear at the red red zone using an OmniSpan fixation system. There are a couple points prior to the repair that need to be recognized. To make sure that the instruments will reach the tear site, I use a 18 gauge spinal needle to lean to localize my portal as long as I can reach the defect site with an 18 gauge spinal needle I should be able then to get the OmniSpan needle in for the repair. The second is the portal itself needs to be of a sufficient size to allow for insertion of the skid and the instrumentation. If it's too small oftentimes the silicone sleeve will get caught on the soft tissue and the system won't work properly. The third is you need to be willing to exchange your working portal and arthroscope to allow for an appropriate approach angle to the repair so that you can continue with your vertical mattress sutures when possible. This sometimes means exchanging the arthroscope to a medial portal and working from a lateral portal for a medial meniscus repair. This is a patient with a meniscus capsular injury or a tear through the red red zone. The first pass with the OmniSpan is to put the needle through the capsule above the level of the tear. The backstop's fired. The needle's backed up and redirected for the second pass to allow for a vertical mattress suture. On this, because the needle went through the loop, you'll see that it's backed up, brought under the loop so the sutures won't cross brought through the body of the meniscus with an adequate distance to allow for a stable repair. Second backstop's fired. That leaves us a tensioning suture in our two loops. When the tensioning suture is pulled, one loop will become the mobile loop. The probe will be brought through the mobile loop which is just moved. The two loops are then, so you can see they're being separated. The right angle of the probe is through the mobile loop and the right angle of the probe now acts as a fulcrum or a pulley. The tensioning suture is pulled. The suture passes around the probe so that the other loop is pulled down for tensioning and repair of the meniscus. With continued tension, what was originally the mobile loop will be pulled back. The probe is brought out. It's used to reduce the meniscus. And with additional tension, the meniscus is pulled back and both of the sutures are now tight and the gap in the meniscus is closed. Then the suture that was used as the tensioning suture will be trimmed with a standard uh, knot pusher uh, cutting device. Continued repair of a men medial meniscal tear at the meniscus capsular junction. One suture has already been placed. This is the second suture. Device is brought in. The first pass again is through the capsule. Backstop is fired. The needle is redirected to allow for a vertical mattress stitch with sufficient meniscal purchase for a secure repair. The needle can be rotated to allow that. It's brought into an appropriate depth. The second backstop is fired through the meniscus and through the capsule. That portion of the device is removed leaving two loops and a tensioning suture. The probe is brought in. The tensioning suture will be pulled to determine the mobile loop. Once the mobile loop is determined, the probe is brought in. The right angle portion is brought through the mobile loop and used as a pivot point. The tensioning suture is pulled. The other loop will be tightened. That's brought down. The probe is brought out of the original mobile loop. It's used to reduce the meniscus. The tensioning suture is used to pull the second suture down. And now there's a second vertical mattress suture spanning the tear through capsule and through meniscus. And then that tensioning suture is trimmed in standard technique. Because of the more anterior position, the instrumentation is brought from a lateral portal with visualization from medial. 
The needle is brought to allow deployment of the first backstop, which can be seen going through the capsule. The second backstop is brought into position. The needle is brought down, spanning the tear, allowing for a vertical mattress suture. It's positioned to allow adequate purchase of the meniscus. Brought through the meniscus and capsule. The second backstop is fired. The needle is withdrawn, leaving the two loops and the tensioning suture. The tensioning suture is pulled to determine the mobile loop, which can be seen moving. The probe will be brought in and the mobile loop engaged with the probe. The right angle portion is used as a pulley point. The tensioning suture is pulled. Again, the suture rolls around. In this case, both loops went over the probe. But even with that, the first loop is pulled down. The probe is brought out. Again, used to reduce the meniscus as the second loop is tightened. And that closes the gap on the meniscus. And again, the tensioning suture is trimmed with the combination uh, knot pusher and knot cutter.